It's been 28 years. Can you imagine having that hang over you for 28 years? Nobody knows what that was like. Case dismissed. Nearly three decades after they were convicted of sexually abusing preschoolers, a judge has thrown out charges in the Lorain County Head Start case. Now, this comes after new evidence surfaced in the case against Nancy Smith and Joseph Allen. News 5 investigator Scott Knoll tells us that led the Lorain County prosecutor to declare he believes the pair is innocent. This is the judge's 22 page ruling granting the Lorain County Head Start sex abuse suspects new trials, trials that won't happen after the prosecutor dismissed the decades old charges against the pair. And the charges against Joseph Allen and Nancy Smith are all dismissed. For 28 years, Nancy Smith and Joseph Allen forced to live with allegations the pair sexually assaulted Lorain County Head Start preschoolers. Today, an apology from an emotional Lorain County prosecutor, J.D. Tomlinson. And to Miss Smith and to Mr. Allen, I want to say that I apologize to you, especially for what was done to you and to your families as a result of this ill-conceived prosecution. A prosecution that led to convictions and years in prison. But after reviewing the case, Tomlinson, who was not in office when the pair was convicted, says he now believes no crime was committed. This after new evidence surfaced, including a claim the mother of one of the accusers coached her daughter to make false allegations, according to court records, an attempt to, quote, get paid. Smith, who spent nearly 15 years in prison, with this message today to that mother. That one day you will all answer for this. Not only did you make me a victim, you made my children victims. You took me away from them in the most crucial time of their lives. Alan. <laughs> Overcome with emotion as he thanks supporters, the 68-year-old calling this a bright day. It's still some healing I got to get due to the, it's been so long, you know, all the emotion, all the family member passed away, all the suffering that I'm yet suffering, all the thing that I suffer in this injustice, it's still a, a emotion. While the charges against the pair have been dismissed, that's not the same thing as being declared wrongfully convicted. That's a separate legal process. One Allen says he'll now turn his attention to. Smith told me that's for another day. Today, she says, is a good day. In Elyria, I'm News 5 investigator Scott Knoll.